This film shows how, using a loft conversion as an example, Firmacell can allow you to undertake projects that you may previously have considered too difficult. These days, energy conservation is important, as selection of the correct thermal insulation will save both energy and money in heating costs. The choice of insulation materials is extensive. Selection of the most appropriate one will depend not only on the building regulations, but also a wide range of considerations, including the depth of construction available and the nature of the build. A well-insulated structure, when used in conjunction with Firmacell, can also contribute significantly to acoustic privacy. To ensure that the construction complies with building regulations, it is recommended that a 0.2mm polythene film is installed as a vapour control layer and to ensure air tightness. The sheets are overlapped approximately 250mm and taped at joints and edges. Large holes or penetrations should be carefully sealed to ensure the continuity of the membrane. Care should also be taken at junctions between walls and adjoining structures. Once this work is complete, the installation of the substructure for the thermocell boards can be commenced. The size of roof battens and stud work depends on the space between rafters. The substructure is installed in the following order. Upstands, roof slope and ceiling. Spacing of the vertical studs in the upstand when using one-man boards is 500 millimetres. For other formats, please refer to our instruction manual or the website. The spacing of the studs for lining the other surfaces will depend on the board format and thickness. For one-man boards, we recommend 335 millimetres. The battens are typically fixed to rafters and joists with screws. Where rafters are uneven, this may be corrected using special screws. Alternatively, pneumatically applied nails or staples may be used to fix the stud work. Here, a timber wedge is used to ensure the battens are level. Since brickwork and the roof construction expand and contract at different rates, a space must be left between the roof battens and the wall to allow for movement. The first fix of services can now take place. For optimum energy conservation, a transverse layer of insulation may be installed between the horizontal battens. The initial work is now complete and boarding out with Firmacell can now begin. Transporting and handling Firmacell is easy. The one-man board format of 1.5 by 1 meter in 10 millimeter thickness means tight spaces can be negotiated with ease. No special equipment is needed for fixing Firmacell. During installation, the boards should be fixed to the soffit, to the undersides of the roof slopes and to the upstand walls in that order. This sequence gives benefits for the subsequent jointing process.
Firmacell can be fixed to studs with Firmacell cross slot screws or with galvanized resonated staples. Boards should be fixed from the centre outwards or from one side to the other. Fixings to ceilings and the undersides of roof slopes should be at 150mm centres. Firmacell boards have strong impact resistant edges. This allows fixings to be made up to 10mm from the edge without the edges splitting off. When jointing after the boards are installed, a space of 5 to 7 millimetres should be left between the edges of the boards. A similar gap should be left between the boards and other building finishes. Here, because there is a separating material between the two building elements, a crack cannot develop. In this case, Firmacell joint filler may be used for filling the gap. Alternatively, an elastic sealing compound may be used. Boards can be cut to size by sawing or by scoring and snapping to size. The Firmacell board snaps off in a straight line. This rough edge strengthens the filler joint. The second row of boards is started with a cut off piece. Joints should be staggered by at least 250 millimetres. By staggering joints, joint crossings are avoided. Window reveals are lined with strips cut to shape and there's no need for angle reinforcement. A small space should be left between the boards and the floor. Jointing should only take place after all wet trades are finished and the boards are dry. Filling of joints must be with Firmacell joint filler. Sprinkle it into clean water, allow to slake and stir to a paste. If the equipment is clean, the filler will remain workable for more than 30 minutes. Firmacell filler should be pressed firmly into the joints with a trowel. Avoid leaving excess filler around the joint. When filled to the back of the joint, the filler ensures a strong bond between boards. Noggins are not necessary behind joints. Before final pointing, any unevenness in the jointing should be smoothed off with an abrasive pad. After pointing, the surface is ready for a variety of finishes. For a plaster smooth finish, Firmacell fine surface treatment can be spread over the surface of the board using a squeegee or a wide spatula. The excess is removed, leaving a smooth finish that is dry and ready to paint within an hour. For larger projects, the use of Firmacell joint stick as a jointing adhesive is recommended. This method of jointing can only be applied to factory cut or sawn edge boards, but provides a faster and stronger jointing system. Firmacell joint stick is applied to the sawn edge of the board and the edge of the next board is then pressed tightly against the glued edge and the board fitted. The maximum joint width is one millimeter. Using this system, individual boards become a continuous membrane. The joint is stronger than the boards themselves. The glue hardens in 24 hours and any excess removed with a scraper. The joint and the joint stick are finished with fine surface treatment. After fixing the boards, mechanical services can be installed. Firmacell walls can carry heavy loads directly from the boards. Without noggins, a toggle bolt or fissure fitting anywhere in 10mm board will support 40 kilograms. In 12.5mm board, this load may be increased to 50 kilograms.